It's unbelievable, in my opinion, that people are supporting Donald Trump as president. Um, there's so many things that I could say about Donald Trump. And it's like every video that I watch of Ted Cruz on YouTube, there's probably like hundreds of dislikes, hundreds of um, just vicious, hateful comments directed towards him, and all kinds of praises to Donald Trump. And one of the disturbing things that I find is that people will not hold Trump to the same standard that they're holding Cruz to. So what I mean by that is, no matter all of the terrible things that Trump has done, they just throw all that under the rug and continue to praise him. But they find one little thing that they can pick on Cruz for, and they just completely demonize him. And they call him Lucifer. And they call him a liar. And they don't use that same standard um, when it comes to their own... Uh, candidate that they're supporting because they aren't really objectively looking at the truth. They are biased. They are just supporting Trump because that's who they want, regardless of the truth. And the, the thing is, is that the truth doesn't matter to these individuals. Somebody that cares and loves the truth um, will look at all sides of all things and finally look at the evidence and then make a good informed decision based on that. Because the evidence and the truth does not lie. So, in all reality, when the Trump people are saying that Cruz is a liar, in all actuality, Donald Trump is really the one that's lying. Um, because he's lying to his own people. He's up there on stage saying that he's a Christian, he's for the Christians, and he's great and whatever, right? Well, then you have to examine the claims that he's making and look at the evidence to see if that backs up what he says. So if, if Donald Trump says that he's for the Christians, well, let's evaluate that and let's really see if he really is for the Christians. We know that Donald Trump is for same-sex marriage. We know that he thinks Planned Parenthood is good, um, so that he's, abor he's for abortion. Um, he has supported Hillary Clinton in the past and said great things about her. Um, he wouldn't disavow the KKK Klan. Um, he got an endorsement from Mike Tyson, who's a convicted rapist, and said that Mike Tyson's a strong guy. Yet everybody demonized Cruz when Cruz said that he thinks rapists are weak uh, guys. I actually agree with Cruz. I think that rapists are terrible, and they're weak individuals. They're horrible. Um, and certainly if your own daughter was raped, I'm certainly sure that you would not say that the person that did that is a strong guy. I mean, that was extremely disrespectful for Trump to say that, because imagine how that girl that was raped by Tyson must be feeling right now. Whether that she... I, I don't know if she supports Trump or not. All I'm saying is that it's still not right for Trump to be saying something like that. You have to be sensitive and think before you speak sometimes. I mean, I've had to learn that in my own life. Um, Trump has said that he doesn't need God's forgiveness. He doesn't think he's really that bad of a person. He tries to do things mostly right all the time. So why does he need to ask for forgiveness, is what he says. Um... Trump made a mockery out of Ben Carson's testimony as bec of becoming a Christian. He was up on stage making fun of him, you know, hitting his belt buckle and all this stuff. That is not what Christians ought to be doing um, to other Christians, not making fun of them. Um, and, you know, Trump could not even um, give... A verse when they asked him what's your favorite verse Trump could not give a verse whereas Ben Carson did and Trump jumped all over that said well Ben Carson just memorized it before he they asked him it, and that he's not really a true Christian or whatever see that's not true um, so when you really really look at all of this right from the very beginning you know uh, you can actually see that Trump is really not who he says he is and Nobody knows what's going to happen in the future because nobody knows the future. 
but you can know somebody's record. You can know what they say. You can look at the evidence. People should be looking at this stuff. Um, you know, Cruz voted against the National Defense Authorization Act. That act allows basically the United States to basically detain and arrest an American citizen without due process. You don't even get the right of a uh, jury or trial or lawyer or whatever. They just lock you up forever. Cruz was one of the few that actually voted against it. Um, I don't remember Donald Trump doing anything like that. Donald Trump was building casinos and building strip clubs, and that's the other thing. Do Christians build strip clubs? Do Christians build casinos? You know, if Donald Trump was really for the Christians, um, then why isn't he against this whole thing about allowing transgenders to use whatever bathroom that they identify with? That means then if some crazy psychopath, sex offender, pervert guy identifies as a woman, he can go into the woman's bathroom and commit horrible crimes. And I'm sure that's just around the corner from happening because there isn't going to be like transgender cops that are going to be standing by the bathrooms asking for papers to prove that they're really transgender. No, anybody can just identify say, oh, well, I feel like a woman and I got my uh, long hair and you know, all this. And they could be a psychopath. They really could be a psychopath. They could do all kinds of damage. So, and even Ben Carson, who's supporting Trump, says that it's better just to make a third bathroom, whereas Trump says, no, it's too expensive. We c Businesses can't afford that. See, he doesn't really care about the rights of people. Because if he did, then he would understand that these issues are very important and that you have to use common sense and you have to use logic and reason and you have to have right and wrong. Um... When Trump says things like how he will pay somebody the lawyer fees or whatever if they hit someone in the face, you know, in, in, encouraging violence amongst the protesters, you know, these are all things that you have to take in consideration. And when you actually look at all this stuff, oh, and by the way, see, there's more things just popping into my mind, uh, Trump making fun of uh, Ted Cruz's wife, Heidi. So Trump finds the worst picture of Heidi that he can, puts it next to his wife, who's a model, and makes her look really terrible. And then later on down the road says uh, that it was a mistake. And you know why he said a mistake? Not because he was sorry for what he had done. He said it was a mistake because it took more votes away from him. Yeah, because he's always thinking of himself. He's not really thinking about the people that he hurt. He's thinking about how he sabotaged his own efforts to move up and to become more successful, and to get more votes, and more fame, and more popularity, because it's all about Trump, see? It's a Trump phenomena. So anyways, that's my little rant. Um, and you know what? Uh, it could go on and on and on and on, but these are things you have to seriously consider and look at, you know? And I, for one just think it's ridiculous. I think it's absolutely ridiculous how much hatred people are spewing out towards other candidates, which is ridiculous. I mean, if you if you really are a Trump supporter and you think Trump is the right guy, then you wouldn't feel the need to have to go uh, and make full of hatred comments and, you know, spew out your venom towards other candidates which is crazy, you know. Um, what kind of an example is that? Um, that just is creating more division, and if anything, that's sabotaging their own efforts. Um, so, yeah. And also considering the fact that just recently, um, Cruz um, spoke with a bunch of Trump supporters, and the Trump supporters were incredibly mean, incredibly mean to Cruz. Whatever they think about Cruz, um, it does not give people the right to just be complete jerks. I mean, you can watch the video, uh, I'll put it in the description box down below, you guys can watch it for yourself, but seriously, I mean, people should really be courteous and respectful, no matter what their opinion is of someone. We aren't supposed to treat people with disrespect, and you know what, if Trump is really a professing Christian like he says he is, then he should be telling his supporters to treat each other with love and respect and not to be falsely accusing people of things. So, 
that's my <laughs> little rant for today. Take care, guys.